Finally, it's time for another random creature design and today I'm gonna make you guys choose what I'm doing. So I know that I usually, I do have that jar with the suggestions that I got like years ago that we do use when we do random creature designs, but I thought I would change it up a little bit because the month of June is, uh, for some people, the month of unicorns, which means that they draw unicorns every day. And I was doing it for a little bit, I didn't have time to kind of continue with it, but I do have quite a few unicorns in here that I really, really love. And I thought, well, the random creature design could be a uh, unicorn and that would be really cute. But just mixing animals together would kind of make a kind of boring unicorn. So I asked on Instagram a few questions. I asked for a random animal, just one. And I asked for something magic and colors. And I got a ton of responses, so this is gonna be interesting. So the only rule really is that if I don't get an animal with hooves, I can add that into the mix so that it will look a little bit more like a unicorn. Uh, but I'm going to use whatever animal I get as my main inspiration for the design. I'll put them in there. You should be able to see that there's some sort of that animal in there. Uh, but I, I do want it to be a unicorn, so scroll, let go, and whatever I hover over will be what I'm getting. So, three, two, one, wah. Artwork. I've had an artwork before. It was actually in the first <laughs> creature design I ever had. So that will be cute. It does have hooves, but it's, it's interesting. No, that's not the one I clicked on. I clicked on that one. Thank you very much. So that is a nun's response. Now, for the magic, we're gonna do the same thing. Um, I asked people for things they found magical, and I'm gonna mix that in somehow to the, the, the creature design, the unicorn design. And I'm just gonna see if I can scroll the way to the bottom. That would be really, really nice. Uh... <gasps> I got it, okay, okay, I got, it. I got to the end. That, that, that took <laughs> A minute or two. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna scroll up. I'm gonna ho hover over here, and whatever it lands on, we'll get. So, three, two, one, go! And we get semi pressure stones, and that is a flow apples response. Hopefully, I can use these all these uh, responses to another one in the future. That would be really fun. Um, or we'll just make a new one. <laughs> Let's see if I can get to the bottom of the colors. I asked for three favorite colors. Was well, this a stupid idea? It might be a stupid idea. Oh well. Uh, maybe this is time to say that this is a draw with me style video. It's super long, so please have me on in the background while you do some art yourself. Oh, there's the bottom. Very great. It's easier. Three, two, one, go! Yellow, light pink, and gray. That, I feel like that already kind of fits in with the colors we got. <laughs> but that is Meg Maker's Art 03's response. Thank you so much. Before I start drawing and designing and choosing animals and everything, I just want to say that whatever I do today will be a creature card like one of these. We currently have four, means we have done this for four months, and today's video or creature will be another card. And if you are interested in getting that card, you can go to my Patreon. In that tier, you also get a postcard and also two stickers, so you get a bunch of bunch, bunch, bunch of a lot of things. Okay, so we got artwork non-precious stones and yellow light pink and gray which are all really cute colors and i feel like they already fit with the artwork theme which is very interesting anyway um i have my really cheap sketchbook here that i use for all of my rough sketches so i don't have to ruin my nice sketchbooks with them or maybe we should do, 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 do. Didn't we do that before? We did! Oh, Dina. I forgot that for my other creature designs, we had the sketches on one side and the design on the other side. So we'll do that again because I, 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 quite, I quite like that. And this page is all wrinkly and it needs flattening. Right, so we got an R. How do I write this? 
I can't believe I've gotten to the point where I have a nice sketchbook and a, a rough sketchbook. <laughs> oh, I don't really want that, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this in this sketchbook right now, because it was supposed to just be for everything. Uh, I'm gonna find some references. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. Okay, okay, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that. It's just such a weird one. Okay, it's very cute. Look at that face. What? I need to Google. Oh, okay. So seven precious stones are pretty much just gemstones, or for me, just like pretty stones. <laughs> so this, all of these are seven precious gemstones. I guess we'll choose something that will fit in with our color theme. And um, one of my absolute favorite uh, semi-precious stone or gemstone is, I think a moonstone is a semi-precious stone. Stone is definitely my favorite. I love moonstones. So maybe we should do that, but that would be... <gasps> Wait, no, I do have fluorescent paint. That would be really cool. It would be very interesting trying to make an artwork into a beautiful unicorn. <laughs> so let's do some sketches and see what we can come up with, shall we? Just trying not to have this this weird light today so um if my footage looks weird and there's shadows everywhere that's why <laughs> i need to buy studio lights i haven't done that yet it's kind of like getting a bunny <laughs> it looks like bunnies curious about if they have any special meaning in like folklore and stuff so I'm just gonna research that can't really find anything except that they are revered for their quest like their I don't know what's it called when they really want to get food and they get food <laughs> honestly I feel like we need something more magic I feel like semi pressed gemstone is one thing but it's just one thing. Maybe we should choose another one. Should I choose a second one? I'll choose a second one. <laughs> I'm breaking my own rules. Just like 10 minutes into the challenge. <laughs> should I choose one more of the animals? I'll choose one more of the animals. Okay, I'm not gonna scroll all the way down though. Because I don't have the time. So whatever I'm hovering over now. Guess that's close enough to ring tilt. A ring-tailed lemur. A mist. That doesn't help me very much. But thank you very much. Oh, the people who said that was... Carrigan Illustrations. And also J4P4M4Ns. So that's, that's what we got. We got mist and we got ring-tailed lemur in here as well. So, let's find some more references. I'm really making this hard for myself. Let's get some lemurs. I think the only thing that I really want to use from this one, the lemur, is the tail, the snout, and the fluff on the ears. So I think if we put this together for a face for the artwork work, which I still feel like is the main the main one we can do this, we can put the lemur nose which looks kind of like that and then have that fade into I am, I am putting in a little bit of deer here just so you know but let's I'm actually gonna put moon in, just like a moon shape horn, because I feel like I'm trying to go for something that's sort of like a moon. Very round back. Like so! I really like that design. I'm not going to lie at all. Ooh, I am excited. Give me you. Okay, I'm excited. Look at that. Isn't it weird to think that, um... Last time we did this, I actually hit 100k. <laughs> That's so strange to think. Okay, I'm so excited to do that one now. Okay, 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 okay. We are ready for the big page. 
So I'm just gonna sketch it and you guys will see some clips of it, but I'm <laughs> it's 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 hard to do this. You can't really see anything, that's what I'm trying to say, right? All right, so I really, really like it. So I made the tail like super long, kind of like how the fog or mist is like a veil. And I thought that would be really cute. Um, and I made him a bit longer, as you can see, well, the same length as that one, but still with that rounded back and then this here. And all the way over here. And then a unicorn horn that will be like shimmery and like pretty. I was going to add like some over here, but I'm actually going to remove it. Um, let's keep it a bit simple. Because it's not like you can tell it's an artwork. So something inspired by it, but <laughs> not completely. Uh, which I found very fun. And I'm going to add a little bit more of like just nice, really misty shapes. That's what I'm trying to get out here, misty shapes. I don't really know how to put in any more of the precious stones. I feel like I could let it kind of grow. That could be kind of cool. So these are stones too. And, and partly here as well. Because that would be really cool if that was like shining lighting up all right so i'm kind of excited i have a few shimmery things that i'm going to use um i have the chrome pen that i got on the scroll box that i haven't posted yet but next week <laughs> and i have this pan pastel which is like shimmery blue and i also have this thing that keeps separating <laughs> but it's a ink but you can see it's like it shimmers like a moonstone and i haven't really used it that much so it'll be fun to try and use it properly i am running up the stairs <laughs> okay put those aside we need to line this first and then we will see what happens i'm actually going to make the tip of the tail flow a bit better like adding more flowy bits So I wanted it to be more misty. There we go. Also, I need to go stock up on more of these because <laughs> this is all I have left. It's so small. Uh, I'm running out on my favorite pencil. Also, a lot of people have bought this pencil and said that it has actually worked really well for them. Everyone was saying that I was a witch that could make pencil work with watercolor. But really guys, if you go pick up this one, it's a Faber-Castell uh, 9008B pencil. Um, and try it. It's it's it can be really worth it if if you like it just with watercolor especially And I have put on autofocus so it doesn't start focusing on everything else. Okay, let's I like being having the prompts kind of be More magical as well like misty is interesting so maybe I should start doing the random creatures that more like this, where I ask you guys for suggestions and then a part of the suggestion is some sort of magical element. I just think that it would be really fun and more interesting than just animals. I don't know, you guys have to let me know what you guys think. Also, if you hear things in the background, that is my boyfriend. He's currently freelance and it's really cool. That means he's home all day. So he might make some noise. I'm so excited to color this. We have to put yellow in here somewhere too. Light pink, which works perfectly for the artwork. Skin, gray, and yellow. Also, this kind of reminds me of a character in Snowcat Prince. <laughs> I'm 
think I'm inspired by her. Just how to draw and that character is really fun. Just drawing all the little stones on the back. I thought I would implement more of the gemstone aspect of the design. And it would look so cool if it was like lighting up. If, it, if you were imagining walking through a forest and it was misty and then suddenly you just see like these stones shimmering. I think it's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm skimping a bit on the anatomy lessons here. I haven't really studied their feet that much, so hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I feel like, like my line art process takes less and less time to just go for it. Could probably take longer and get better lines and less messy, but I feel like when I just go for it, it just gets a bit more alive. There we go. There we go. That's the line art done-ish, maybe. You guys, maybe? Yes? I can never stop, can I? Stop! All right, uh, watercolor time. So yes, I am going to start with like just normal colors and not the like shimmery colors or anything. I want to focus on what the, those three we got. So we got, oh gosh, I just want to make sure that I'm not getting it wrong. It's my memory. Oh well, I brought it there. Okay, <laughs> yellow, light pink, and gray. So. I'm gonna start with the pink because I feel like that's like the best one for the artwork. But I think what I want is that it will be mostly pink overall, maybe pink-ish, and then the gray will be fading from like tips of the the snout, the legs, and etc. Like that. Uh, we might put in some lim lem le lemmer lemmy lemmer lem lem what? How can I can't say the word. Anyway. <laughs> lemur. Lemur. There we go. Jesus, that took me so many tries. Um, but we're gonna start with a light pink all over the body. Also, I'm sure people are gonna ask they asked in my last video. This is the old illo sketchbook, not the new one. Even though I tested it, I haven't started using the old one. And also the illo people is gonna send me a new sketchbook, the one that's getting shipped out around the um, second week of July. So I'm going to review that one and I think hopefully the, the issues will be solved. I'm very excited for it anyway, because I love working in this one. You can't even see the light pink, it's so light. <laughs> I think this is one of the faster ones that I've done, creature design wise. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, if you're interested in coming to see me do the backgrounds, because when um, before I print the creature cards, I always do a, a digital pass over it. So I paint over it digitally so that it will look better on the card. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go to my Twitch channel and follow me there and I'll probably do it this weekend. Or, I don't know, it will be soon. Maybe I've already done that. Come and say hi on Twitch anyway. <laughs> that is that is not color, that's buckling. It buckles a bit and then it lies flat later. Uh, I'm never too worried about the buckling in the beginning. Some light pinks. I think I'm gonna put some more darker purple here. I don't know if this felt like it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the gray because I feel like I need to. I have some gray mixed here, so I think I'll use that. But I want that to go in a fade. And some more here. 
Oh, <laughs> so pretty. Uh, I'm not gonna go much darker than that. I feel like she needs to be misty and just not too like dark, you know? Like usually I would go pretty dark on my fades, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that for her just because I feel like there's no need. Um, she's a misty stony one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take some of my yellow here. It's gonna be a faint yellow. I'm not gonna use like a bright yellow, but my yellow ochre always tries a bit like brown gold-ish, so I think that would be perfect. I'm gonna use that on the tail. So that was what I was thinking about earlier, to have it fade from a pink also, these are like my favorite colors. So, <laughs> a pink to a yellow ochre. Just thought it would be pretty. A bit more color here. Who knew an art rock could be such a pretty unicorn? <laughs> uh, so, I don't want to go too dark with anything. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So, I might just leave it here. Is that too early? <laughs> There's like almost no watercolor, but I feel like I can't overwork this one. And this is kind of the only way I could figure it out. To be misty. So let's just leave it there. Let's just It's actually darker on, on here than I'm seeing right now, but I'm going to edit it to look better. So I have this ink, but it's so separated. So I don't know if I should try and use it as ink or try and just get the pigments. Maybe that would be really interesting. Let's see if I can get just the pigments. Can you see that lump? There you go. Oh, we can use that. But it's better, like every time I used it, it's been so thin, so this is probably a lot better. And you won't be able to see it unless I get some light on that. <laughs> I can't see anything. It's just a bit like a little... Oh my gosh. But this is what I said, oh my god, too, because can you see it? Well, it shimmers really nicely, like proper moonstone shimmer. Oh, there we go. There it is. Wait. It's so hard to see it. There, there. I, can, I figured it out. <laughs> so shimmers to the blue. Oh, it's so pretty. I think, I think we're good. I think this is enough. <laughs> like, you can't see it at all like that. I just have to, like, turn it like that for you to see the shimmer. It's very faint, though, so I'm going to put some more of my other tools of shimmer on. Because I think if I use, for example, this one. I always use my fingers, so please don't be alarmed. Um, <laughs> It's so hard to use anything else with this, but it's like a shimmery blue. I was supposed to use this with Snucker Prince because I thought I would do it um, traditionally, but that's not what I'm, I did at all, so. This is really fun. Even though you can't really see the shimmer right now, I will show it in a second. It's all the shimmer. <laughs> Sad thing is that you won't be able to see this on the creature card, but I was thinking maybe I should... There's this certain paper that does have a shimmer that I've used a few times for my for my uh, postcards. That I, I know I can use for this, but we'll, we'll see what I can figure out. <laughs> this is so much fun, look at that. <laughs> we are going to use some sort of... I think I probably use a gold pen to just get some few more lines because the gold pen is quite dark and it'll be all right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the gold pen. I'm gonna do mistakes, just like... Imagine if I didn't pick like the other two, like another animal, another magic. Then I would be here doing an artwork with a horn. Maybe it will be more creative. I don't know. 
but I think it was a good decision to put two more in here. So I'm very excited to see what you guys come up with for this. Um, if you haven't watched one of my random creature designs before, whatever I do, I ask you guys to do, and I will feature you in the next video that I do of the creature designs. So I am going to feature all the people who joined last month um, in the end of this video, which is very soon. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys can do with these prompts because they're diff 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 definitely a little bit different, uh, which is just very fun, I would, I would think. <laughs> I'm going to make the eye yellow, I don't think it needs to be. Yeah, that's better. Also, if you're interested in the creature card, this one, uh, please go over to my Patreon, there's a few more. I will probably open for more if it's sold out by the end of the, the month. Because we did 150 last month. And that was alright. We didn't we didn't die, me and my boyfriend. So we think we can handle more. Just the demand's a lot higher than we expected for things. And um, thank you guys so much for wanting to get the creature cards and be supportive. Also, to everyone who asks about if they will be available later, yes they will. Um, I just have to figure out how to do packs of cards and not just one single card. Um, so there, there, there will be... There will be opportunities to get it later. All right, I think, <laughs> I feel like it's a bit boring, but I also feel like it kind of encapsulates the mist aspect of the prompts. That was a horrible line. Can I fix it? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, I'll just leave it, you know, just leave it. There we go. I think so, I think, I think this, this creature just, it, it needs to be simple, like, I can't, just add a lot of texture and stuff, but it, it's not that simple when you look at how much shimmer is on this thing. Wait, look at it. <laughs> look at all of that. It's so pretty. Maybe I should add a little bit more. I haven't added the chrome yet, actually. Let's just add that. So now, even more shiny. Ooh. <laughs> Yes. Oh, we can add more dots. We can add more. See now, when I do this, you'll get lots more shimmer. Wait. There you go. I think that's really cute. I'm probably gonna enhance that digitally so it looks better when it's just flat like this. Um, but yeah, I I, 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 I like her. I like her a lot. So I'm, I'm very excited what you guys can do with artwork. Semi-precious stones, gemstones, yellow, light pink, and gray. Then if you want to, you can add in the lemur and also mist. And that's pretty much what it is. So that's five prompts for you. Uh, and, and I just want to see what people can do with it, because I think this was a very interesting way of doing my challenge. Um, I'm still mixing animals, but I'm, I'm putting a bit more of a magic spin on it, which is very, very fun. But yeah, that is it for this week's or this month's creature design. And as I said, I really love it and I'm excited to make the creature card. If you want to look at more of the creature cards, go to my Patreon. If you want to join in on the uh, random creature design, go uh, down below because all the, the information is down there. And now it's time to do a little pan over and zoom over so you can see this closer. And also I'm going to feature all of the artists from last month's challenge at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, have a lovely day guys and I will see you next week for another draw with me, I'm guessing, or a squirrel box video, I'm not sure. Anyway, I love you all. Have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.
then let's go through all of the features and holy moly guys you really went for this time there's 78 entries and i hope i got all of them if i liked your entry you are most likely in here uh, but this is going to go on for a while it's about one second per drawing and if you are if you like any of them please pause it and their social media handles are in the uh, picture and yeah this was absolutely amazing guys you are so creative and a lot of the designs i think i prefer over my own so amazing work and uh yeah i'm just gonna leave you guys to it and i will see you guys next week also i will just say now thank you so much to my patrons for being patrons and there will be a little scroll at the end of this uh, where you have all the names for my patrons and I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for joining last month's creature design. I hope you join this month as well. Just a little cleanup thing. Uh, I have changed the um, hashtag that you use for the creatures and also I will only from now on feature entries that are actually colored uh, because I feel like that's a bit more effort. But that's just because it takes a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!